And right now at four, portions of Northeast Ohio are at risk for severe weather. Three News is getting you weather ready as rain and storms are heading our way right now. So let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Betsy Kling, who begins our weather team coverage with the very latest information to help you plan your evening. Hi, Betsy. Yeah. We have had a very interesting day as far as north versus south. It has been cool and cloudy and foggy closer to the lakeshore. Farther south, we've seen sunshine and temperatures that are in the mid and upper 60s. All of us will hold on to the clouds through the rest of the evening, and you can see we start to bring some thunderstorm chances into the picture, and that is where our picture does get uh, much more interesting as we go through the evening. Uh, as far as the forecast then goes uh, into the late night hours, I think I might be on weather... Uh, let's see if I am on, I don't know, it's just not advancing. There we go. All right, so we're going to keep you weather ready as we go through the evening. Here's what's new. We've had the sun that has been peeking out through the afternoon, and that means the destabilization has been taking place. The high end risk of severe weather has shifted south, so that's the bigger tornado risk. That is some good news. We've also seen that hail risk shifting to the south. Can you hit me again, Jessica? Uh, we do have some flood watches in areas farther south, Richland, Ashland, Wayne, Holmes, Stark, Tuscarawas, and Carroll counties, as well as the Youngstown area all in a flood watch through 11 p.m. Flood warnings are already ongoing because we have a lot of standing water in our southern counties, and that is not going to get any better. The current radar picture has some light to moderate rain showers that are ongoing US 30 and farther south, but out to the west, we do have some storms that are firing. These are moving in. We've seen some lightning on these, so we know that they have some decent ingredients that are kind of coming in here. The sun that we saw earlier was really Really kind of uh, one more little piece of the puzzle that we've had to factor in. We really thought that this initial batch of thunderstorms that came in would take off. They did not, but we have a whole new batch that is still to come, and we think that things may continue to progress as we go through the rest of the evening. Let's take a look then at the high-res visible satellite imagery, and you can see we will see some more clearing. The question is, how much will this be beneficial to the storms as we go through the rest of the evening? Now, closer to home, here's that difference from north to south. 40s and 50s close to the lakeshore, 67 currently in Dover, and that creates a boundary. So all of the heat, all of the good juice for the thunder storms is going to come north and set up close to this boundary. So this whole area where we have the heat, we also have a lot of humidity that adds fuel to the fire. So the ingredients are definitely there. All right, let's take a look at uh, where the storm prediction center has shifted things. The three to five, uh, three out of five is farther south now. And you can see uh, that the really highlighted red area for the higher end risk is moved south toward Columbus and Cincinnati. All right, so that's some good news for us. But we still have to keep an eye on these threats through the rest of the evening. Uh, we're talking about damaging winds, large hail is a possibility. The tornado risk is somewhat backed off, but the localized flooding that will remain foremost uh, the big threat that we have through the rest of the evening. We'll talk more about the rest of the forecast coming up in just a little bit, Laura and Matt. There's the storm starting to come in. All right, there they are up to the minute with the latest. I know you'll do that. Thank you so much. We'll check back in with you in just a bit.